Hey guys and welcome back to another video, I'm Telly and in today's video I've been having a lot of problems with people saying that they're having um, questions about the uh, dolphin tutorial I did a couple months ago and it went down really well, got at 10,000 views now which I wasn't expecting so thank you very much for that but anyway I'm rambling so the question was uh, how do you get pressure sensitivity on the PlayStation 3 controller and to be quite honest, I didn't actually know the answer, so I was trying to help people as best I could, and I've had, I don't know, about 100 people ask me this now. So I did some research, and it's you're going to brain fart, or it's gonna, you're going to have a face palm when you see how easy it is. Okay, so I'm not going to go into a whole depth of how to do shit, because if you want to know how to do what I'm about to do here, go watch the other tutorial and then come back to this one. But first of all, I'm going to assume you've watched the video and you're going to know exactly how to connect your PS3 controller, which we're going to do right now. I'm pressing the button. It's going to come up here. You can see it just changed up here. I've got the PS3 controller set up. And another thing, I didn't I didn't explain this in the video, which I should have. You should connect your PS3 controller like I've just done now before turning on Dolphin. So I should have explained that, but that's my bad. So you connect your PS3 controller, turn on Dolphin. So and this is what you got. You've got your games here if you know how to do this. You, again, this is all explained in the tutorial. So if you haven't watched that and you're watching this, I highly suggest you go watch it. But So you've got your games. And uh, just to prove this is the main game, it's the problem that you're having with this game is Mario Sunshine. So if we boot this up, it's probably going to be bare laggy, like super laggy because I'm recording. But we're going to go with it anyway, roll with it. And uh, we'll go to slot 1. When it loads, here we go. Super laggy because I'm recording. But as you, as you can not very well see, I can't move while I'm shooting. I literally can't move. So we're gonna. I'm gonna show you how to do that because in Mario Sunshine, um, you can hold down one of the triggers to stand still, and you can also just pr lightly press it, and you can move around and shoot. So the problem is in the on when you're playing this is you can't actually do that. Like with the, the tutorial I showed you, you can't do that. So what we're gonna do is it's super easy. So you're gonna go into the GameCube pad, which is where your control setup is. And here's your button. So you can see you've got your buttons here, you've got A, you've got X, blah 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 blah. Like you've all set up. So over here is your left and right buttons that we um you've got normally you should associate it to left and right trigger. Uh, not left and right trigger, the left and right bumpers if you like. Um, but what you need to do is actually use these two as well as these two. You need to have all four of these set up. So I'm going to, as you can see, I haven't got anything associated to these. So I'm going to associate the triggers. All right. Important you understand the triggers are different to the bumpers. The triggers are the bottom ones on the PS3 controller, not the top ones. All right. So you've got the right trigger. So it can be a kind of fiddly. So I'm going to do this live right now. Uh, right analog is right trigger so we go like that there we go I got it first try that's lucky so now that's associated to the right trigger okay and you do the same one for the left analog so you press it and you do that you just have to keep pressing it over and over again like both the buttons at the same time like and there you go you'll get it eventually it's a bit fiddly and I just had it twice there right there we go got it so you can see now I've got both the triggers there and I've got both the left right you can't tell the difference but I'm, that's what I'm doing okay so once you've done that, you can save it or whatever, which I'm going to do now. I'm going to save. And if we go back into Mario Sunshine, again, this is going to be hard to demonstrate because of the lag, but because you, I literally cannot play this game and record it. But You will see now that I can actually run and shoot at the same time, which I couldn't do before. So the thing you have to keep, do though in order to do this is um, if you want to stand and shoot you have to use the top trigger like so and then if you want to move and shoot you use the bottom trigger and you can move. When you're using the bottom trigger you won't be able to do a power like you know when you do this that you can't do that with the bottom trigger you have to use the bumper so you can just dump and press the bumper at the same time and you can do that. But if you want to run and move, you just use the right trigger and you move and you can move about. Easy. Simples. So just to recap, 
you, um, just to make sure it's super easy and I'm just going to recap just quickly so you all know what to do you connect your PS3 controller actually I'll tell you what, we'll go from, we'll go from the basics we'll go from the basics go all the way back to the start so, it's, so you completely understand so there's no need to you can ask, if you have questions it's fine, I'm, I don't mind answering them but you shouldn't have any questions after this because it's super easy so you get your PS3 controller you connect it with the wire, the charge cable that we did in the fit in the video and that should auto connect like so see we've got it connected you turn on Dolphin after connecting the PS3 controller, it's important go to GC pad which stands for GameCube pad and you associate the, both of these buttons to the, to the triggers and then these two to the bumpers okay just make sure you understand these two, the analogs to the bumpers, uh, not the bumpers, sorry, these two to the triggers and these two to the bumpers. These two bu triggers, these two bumpers. Okay? And if once you've done that, you save and you're all done. Simples. And then you have pressure sensitivity. So you can move about and, and use it. Okay? So thank you very much for watching. If you would be super kind to subscribe and like and video and all that good stuff, that would make my day. This took a while to figure out, so it would be greatly appreciated. Share this with friends and whatever to help them figure it out. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you in the next video of whenever I get my Mac's having problems recording at the moment. So, you know, so as soon as I get it fixed, uh, Minecraft will be continuing and all that other good stuff. So. Yeah, talk to you guys in a bit. Bye.